Hey, what's going on everybody? This is G and I'm Funkin' Hungry. In this video, I'm gonna try Van Holten's Big Papa. Now that sounds a little bit wrong, but this is a hearty dill pickle. So this is one portly pickle made in the USA. Contains one pickle. And don't worry, I'm not going to do what everyone thinks I'm going to do. I'm not going to make jokes about this. I'm not going to compare this to a willy or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Be a nice, clean, family-friendly video, like always. So I'm going to leave the nutrition information on the screen for you, if you want to take a look at my big pickle. I'm going to leave the ingredients on screen as well, if you're interested. But we're going to go through it anyway. It's basically a cucumber, water, salt, vinegar. It's got calcium, chloride, natural flavoring, sodium, potassium, and some other crap. And Yellow 5, that sounds like a boy band back in the 90s. I wanted to give a shout out as well to my brother. He was the one that gave me this. He tried Big Papa's Pickle and he said that he wasn't a fan. So who else would he give it to? Funkin' Hungry. And let's see if I enjoy good old Van Holton's Big Papa Pickle. But this is fat free, low calorie, low carb and gluten free. So yeah, Big Papa's Pickle sounds like it's fairly healthy. But let's bust this open and give it a taste, hey? Let's nibble on a little bit of a pickle. Maybe I should have put this on OnlyFans. But you can see there's loads of juice in it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's all the way up here. So I'm going to try to get out my Big Papa Pickle without spilling it everywhere. Alright, let's cut this off. So there's loads of brine in this pickle, so I'm going to pour it into this bowl and so we can fish out the Big Papa pickle. Alright, that looks like it's, that looks like it's toxic as, it's like grain, like cordial, what the hell. You better give me a like for this one guys, because this one might kill me. Man, there's heaps of, man there's heaps of brine in this. Let me see if I can show you, this looks crazy. So that brine looks absolutely crazy, bright green. It looks like something that the Toxic Crusader splashed over himself to become who he is. Anyway, let's get out just the tip. Look how big this is, that's crazy. Doesn't look the nicest as well. Doesn't look like the nicest pickle I've ever seen. <laughs> Forgot to give it the Funkin' Hungry Sniff Sniff. So yeah, it just smells like dill. Maybe a little bit vinegary, but yeah. And that's why my brother said that he wasn't a fan of it. I think he got a couple of pickles. He must like his big papa pickles. So my brother said it was really strong in dill flavour. So yeah, he wasn't a fan, so he gave it to me. So Kid Leroy's in Adelaide at the moment. I should have sent him this. He would have loved this in his high heels and his mini skirts or whatever he wears. I love it when you call me Big Pat. Don't hey. you wish your pickle was staunch like mine? Don't you? But yeah, enough fooling around. I'm going to bite this pickle. Now, this is the most reluctant I've been to do a food review. I do love my pickles. I was kind of keen for it until I saw how green that brine is. That's just some radioactive stuff. Good old Americans and their food standards. All right, let's give it a try. <laughs> what the hell? So, <laughs> what the hell? That tastes so weird. Ah, oh. tastes like a, tastes like a, uh, tastes like I swallowed, tastes like I just swallowed some pool water. It's got like this really strong chlorine sort of flavor to it, this chemical sort of flavor. What the hell, man? And if this is the type of stuff that Americans eat all the time, I know it's a bit of a novelty. If this is what your pickles taste like all the time, man. It just tastes like I just had a swig out of the pool, you know, when they freshly put in some chlorine. 
Whoa. Now I will say it does have the strong dill flavour to it. It does obviously have a pickle sort of flavour to it with the vinegar. But that first flavour is like this chemical sort of flavour. The only thing I can compare it to is like chlorine. You know, as I said, when you as I said, when you go into a pool and if you get a mouthful of pool water and it has that sort of chemical flavour. So I will finish this off because I hate wasting food. But if I look like the Toxic Crusader on the next video, you'll know why. If I come out and I'm glowing green like the Hulk, you'll know why. So this is the type of pickle that was probably grown from a cucumber from Chernobyl. And yeah, it doesn't look the nicest as well. You probably can't really see in camera, but up close it just, yeah, doesn't look the nicest. And I do like my cucumbers, and I do like my pickles, but yeah, this is just gross really. Alright, All right, I'll give it one more bite, then we'll give it a rating, and I'll probably just eat it on camera just for a laugh, but I'll speed it up so you don't have to see all the agonizing facial expressions I'm going to be making. But yeah, one more bite, we'll give it a rating, we'll go from there. There's so many jokes I can say right about now. So many jokes that are going through in my head. But I'll try and keep it clean, unlike this pickle. This pickle would definitely turn a gay man straight, that's for sure. It'd put you off pickles for life. Next time I go to McDonald's, I might get the Kid Leroy meal, just so I don't have any more pickles. But yeah, pickles in Australia are so much nicer than this. No, this is a bit of a novelty, it's a once-off. I'm sure all of Americans' pickles aren't like this. But yeah, this is just gross. So my rating for Van Holton's Big Papa Pickle, I'm going to give that a 1 out of 10. That is gross. That is just disgusting. And yeah, it's almost put me off pickles for life. It's quite a hearty pickle, as you can see. But yeah, it just it has this chemical sort of flavour to it. It's just disgusting. And I went on camera looking like a fool eating this pickle just for it to taste like that. Nah. So this tastes like the exterminator was around, he was getting rid of the rats, getting rid of the termites, and this pickle accidentally fell into his bucket of chemicals, and then all of a sudden he gave it to you and said, oh sorry, here's your pickle, taking a bite, and it tastes like whatever concoction he was spraying to get rid of the insects, to get rid of the rats or whatever. If you have a rat infestation, you could probably leave this out, and it'll probably scare away all of the rats. If you have some cockroaches or whatever running around, just leave this in the corner, this will scare off everyone. Probably what killed off the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Yeah, this is just gross. Look how big this is. This is definitely grown in Chernobyl. This is just crazy. And the BFG would get full from this. So yeah, this is just crazy. All right, I'm just gonna eat this for a stupid joke because I don't really wanna go back to it later on and eat it again. I'll just eat it now and we'll get through this review. And it's probably gonna be longer than normal, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had the laugh with me. And yeah, never get this. <laughs> Never buy this. I don't even know how this is a company. How do people eat this? Do people actually buy these and like them? I'm just, this is just mind blowing. For another mind blowing magic trick, I'm going to make this big papa pickle disappear. All right. Cheers.
That was fucking disgusting. That was probably the worst thing I've ever had in my life that I've ever ate. I need some of this just to wash that down. Ugh, seriously, I don't know how you can call that food. It tasted like chlorine. It tasted like peroxide. It just had this chemical sort of flavor to it. And even after a while, I started getting sort of like a bit of a burn up my nose. Even the back of my mouth is like burning a little bit, like chemical burn. I want to almost contact that company and ask them how this is food. This is disgusting. Do people actually eat this? Honestly, guys, if you see that, stay clear of that. I wouldn't even try it for a joke like I just done. There was a few times when I wanted to eat it quicker because it was so disgusting, but I felt like I was going to vomit, so I had to slow down a little bit and just chew slower, unfortunately. That was just agonizing. That was just disgusting. You can tell by that liquid it's not normal. When have you ever had a pickle that has bright green liquid in it? That is just crazy. How can anyone eat that? I'm offended that I even tried it. I'm offended that my brother gave it to me because, you know, he must have known how bad it was and he wanted to get rid of it, so he gave it to me. And me being me and me being stupid and trying out food on a channel, I thought, yeah, this would be good for a laugh. But yeah, I was expecting it to be bad, but not that bad. That is just disgusting. So I'm going to change my rating. Van Holton or whatever. Van Holton's Big Papa Pickle. That's getting a minus one. That's not even food. What the hell? This shouldn't be on Funkin' Hungry. This should be on Funkin's Paranormal Activities channel. That is just out of this world. That is just gross. Even an alien, if you gave them that, even they would throw it up. That is just crazy. And yeah, I'm probably going to die from that because it just tasted disgusting. Alright guys, make sure you give me a like for that one. Let's try and make this video go viral. Like as much as you can. Let's try and put the word out to never go near this. And how is this even a company? How are they selling pickles? Who's eating this stuff? What, the Hulk? This is just, this is just, this is just ridiculous. Ugh. I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna get rid of this liquid. I'm probably gonna have to take this to some sort of chemical lab for them to dispose of this correctly because I don't think I could just tip it down the sink. I don't think I could put it in the garden because yeah, it's just gonna contaminate everything it touches just like I am now. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could please like, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. But this was G from Funkin' Hungry and I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Oh, the liquid actually tastes better than the pickle.